Hey guys, so I have uh, tried to start this video now four times and um, it hasn't worked because I can't like get the words out. Today was definitely a wake up call in that when I was talking, uh, I think in yesterday's video that I'm kind of a little bit foggy and it like really hit bad today. Um, like super just one kind of feeling like just fuzzy headed, but not being able to like string sentences together. And like I had returned a call um, for someone at work and I ended up having to leave a message. And I'm like partway through the message going, I am just rambling. And I'm like, I can't think of certain words that I need to even say. Like he's gonna be like, what in the heck is this lady on? Um, luckily he called back and he was fine and he was very nice and didn't seem to think I was crazy. But um, yeah, so I know a lot of that, that can be medication, like chemo brain, it's a real thing. It can be because I now I'm also on, you know, new pain meds and I have like the fentanyl and my body is still getting used to that. But one, it's really, really frustrating and, um, and it's not something I, I hate feeling like I'm losing my voice, not like physically losing my voice, but being able to articulate what I want to say. And because there have been times where it feels like my brain and my mouth aren't really connected and like times where it almost feels like my tongue is like big in my mouth and I'm like stumbling over actually saying things as well. Um, and so that's a, a little, it's kind of scary. And I want to say it's, you know, it's probably the meds, it's probably this, but then of course in the back of my head, it's like, what if it's something else that I know on past MRIs on my brain, there's been a little spot and it's never gotten bigger, but in my, you know, that, that worry of the what if is like, what if it's getting bigger? And that's actually, these are signs that there's something going on up here. Um, so I have a call into my doctor. I did that. Uh, I was trying to be responsible. So kind of let him know what has been going on. And we'll hopefully hear, it'll probably be tomorrow at this point. It's late enough that I doubt I'll hear from them today. Um, and just see what they want to do. If they want to do a scan earlier, if they're just going to say, no, that sounds pretty normal. <laughs> Part of me wishes it is, and part of me wishes it's not. Um, and hopefully there'll just be good days and bad days. But um, yeah, definitely feeling a little emotional and worrying about all of these things. Yeah, you can see the box over there. <laughs> Christmas shopping, woohoo! <laughs> all right, well, I will leave it at that. I appreciate you guys very much. Um, Josh was like, oh, you should say like, the 12 days of Vlogmas. I guess a lot of people are using that. So that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that in the title. You'll probably see it in the title. Um, but actually with that, so yesterday I asked what or some of your favorite holiday treats. So now if you made it all the way through the video, uh, I wanna know what your favorite like present was when you were a kid. Like if you can remember that far back, like what is it that you like either really, really wanted or you got and it was amazing. Um, I'm, I'm very curious. Um, mine, the one that I can really think of, um, I was actually, I was a little older. I was in fifth grade and I asked for a CD player and I got my very first CD player with a little tape deck on it as well. Um, and yeah, it was like my first time where I finally got to like be in my room and listen to my own music and something I definitely remember. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you and I will see you later.